Why do modern tanks use smoothbore guns and not rifled ones? This is something very counterintuitive about tanks. Those of us who have some knowledge of weapons know about the rifling of barrels and its fundamental role in the accuracy of weapons. However, it's curious that tanks use smoothbore barrels. There have been tanks with rifled barrels but these began to disappear after the Second World War. And even tanks like the Challenger 2, a tank with a rifled barrel, which is also the standard tank in England, will have a new version called Challenger 3. This is going to have a smoothbore gun replacing the old rifled barrels, as well as its North Atlantic Treaty Organization allies from the Abrams series and German Leopard 2. And even the rivals of the Challenger 2, like the versions of the Russian T-series, also use smoothbore guns. Today in this video we will try to make sense of everything this. This, the rifling of the barrel or as they say in English rifling consists of scratching the sole to leave grooves and helical in the barrel. This causes a projectile passing through the barrel to obtain a rotating effect that gives it great precision and prevents the tendency of projectiles to spin at undesirable angles. It's an effect we even see in the arrows of bows as they spin due to their fletching. When projectiles are fired without rifling, they tend to tilt at angles that cause the tips not to go forward, making the ammunition ineffective. All weapons use it, except for mortars and shotguns, let's say, because of their characteristics. But in tanks, the use of rifling changed in the middle of the 20th century. In the 60s, composite ceramic armors emerged, armors that nullified almost all the damage caused by conventional piercing ammunition, also being very light compared to their predecessor armors. To confront these new armors, engineers instead of making the cannons bigger as they had always done until that moment, decided to improve the ammunition. And so it was that in the decade of the 60s, ammunition like the Sabot armor piercing fin stabilized discarding Sabot emerged and the high explosive HIT changing the world of tanks and even pushing them to the brink of obsolescence. The HIT ammunition were the first to be developed. These thermal ammunitions are simple, they just focus the explosion on a central point, launching a jet of molten metal that penetrates dense armor. They were first used in World War II in anti-tank weapons like the Panzer Faust or the Panzer Schreck, and even the Germans experimented a lot with this type of ammunition. But in this case, being fired from anti-tank guns, these investigations being closed since the classic piercing ammunition was still very effective. Later in the 60s, military engineers would resume German research, particularly in England, in the experiments of the French from the 30s, or the first sabot, or as they called them armor-piercing discarding sabot, were simple ammunition with a core of smaller diameter than the ammunition which was usually made of tungsten, which when fired from a rifled cannon transferred its rotation to the projectile. This was quite effective for penetrating almost any armor of the time. As technology advanced, the sabot, the ammunition, became longer and that caused the projectiles to become unbalanced Remember that the longer the ammunition, the greater the rotation it needs. To stabilize, the first sabot with fins emerged, being very similar to the dates of the bows, which when fired detached from the ammunition to be stabilized by the air itself and not just by the rifling. The then the engineers realized that the rifling of the barrels was causing excessive spin in the ammunition, causing them to have greater air resistance. Remember that Sabo are kinetic projectiles. Their effectiveness depends on the force with which they impact the armor. So the excessive rotation slowing down the projectile was a big problem. In addition, the problem of the reduced speed of the Sabo caused by excessive rotation increased with distances, making the Sabo completely ineffective at long distances. Really, Sabo ammunition did not need rifling to spin, as the rotation they needed was obtained from a small angle in their fence. Along with the sabot ammunition, hit ammunition also used fins for stabilization and remember that the effectiveness of both types of ammunition was affected by the rifling. The In the case of hit ammunition, these needed two factors to work, a very precise explosion and that the projectile is geometrically in the exact position so that if the metal jet penetrated the enemy armor. The excessive rotation given by the rifled barrels caused the ammunition to unbalance just a bit, reducing the chance. 
that the ammunition would function correctly was greatly reduced. So in order to use these modern ammunitions, the engineers came to a clear conclusion, the rifled barrel had to be eliminated. The first to understand this were the Soviets, who in the 60s knew that the incoming western tanks were going to be very modern with quite resistant composite armors. Therefore, they needed to have a competent cannon and ammunition that could penetrate these new armors. That's how in the 60s the T-64 tank arrived, to which they put a smoothbore cannon, being the first modern tank as such to carry one of these. This could fire modern armor-piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot rounds and high-explosive, high-explosive anti-tank. The German Leopards would follow in the late 70s, which would also carry smoothbore cannons. And then the American Abrams tanks would arrive in the 80s with smoothbore cannons. Finally, in the present day, the new Challenger 3 will come with smoothbore cannons, as the Challenger series was the one that resisted the most in carrying smoothbore cannons. This drastic change seems very counterintuitive, but I suppose all the major military powers came to the same conclusion. Main battle tanks are primarily for destroying other tanks, and if they can't destroy enemy tanks, they're simply not useful. So, in conclusion, tanks have smoothbore cannons in order to be able to fire HIT and armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot ammunition more effectively since they can get the stabilization they need without rifling.